All right, what's going on, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video with TC. Now, look, without further ado, look, I'm about to go ahead and get into this video. But first, let me shout out to all my supporters, all my new supporters. The goal for today is 300 likes on this video. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can make it happen. You get what I'm saying? I ain't even finna waste no more of y'all time, man. We finna get right into the vid, man. Let's go. Good guy to a girl, buy her everything, treat her right, and she'll fumble that bag by doing you wrong. But she's not getting whatever she got with the good guy from the other guy. If a girl genuinely fucks a good guy over for somebody like me, what did she get? She just gave it to me. I don't have to do nothing. She lost a guy who was giving her a normal life. The reason why they keep bouncing around from man to man is because they want to go find that good person again, but they're not. So they're just settling to anybody. One will fuck me and I'll treat her like shit. Then she'll run to him, Sebastian, right? Thinking, oh, maybe Sebastian's gonna be nice to me. Because the first day that she met Sebastian, naturally Sebastian's gonna be sweet because he wants a pussy, he's gonna be nice. How do you give her free game out? So, uh, Man, this is free game and this is easy game. But look, most women don't understand this. And this is why I always tell you guys, if a woman leaves you, bro, let her enjoy the streets, bro. Let her enjoy the streets because whatever she's seen out there, that new piece of candy she's seen, the guy that was sweet to her, that guy who, you know, she thought was going to be a better fit for her than you. He's going to do her 10 times worse. You get what I'm saying? And this is just the way the world works. You can guarantee that. You can guarantee that 100%. And this goes for a man leaving a woman too. These women be just as grimy. See, but people don't understand this until they go out. And I'm, I'm about on the same level. Like, I done had so many women who cheat on their boyfriends with me. This situation just happened at the gym literally today. It was a girl, like, you, you can tell when a girl choosing on you, right? It was this white girl, right? She just kept eyeing me. You get what I'm saying? And I was just thinking in my head, like, everywhere that I went in the gym, she was just eyeing me. And then her boyfriend was right there working out with her. And I was just thinking in my head, like, I don't even know this girl, but just imagine, right? Just imagine, in her head, she see a new piece of candy that she wanted to try. Just imagine she, was, she wanted to leave him for me. Somebody that actually loves her. And then she come to me thinking, I'm finna... You know what I'm saying? I'm just finna slice. I don't even know you. You get what I'm saying? So why would I? Why would I? Of course, I'm gonna be nice, and you know that's that's just the the bumble of the bee. I'm gonna be nice in the in the beginning. That's how all men are. You know what I'm saying? So once they get what they want, that's that true personality start unveiling itself. And a lot of people are not good people. So hey, sometimes you just gotta let people learn. That's for male and female, man. Let's continue. Oh, even if I'm explaining what the game is right now, they still do the same thing. Still yeah. do this. <laughs> That's facts, though, and I'm not even gonna keep interrupting. But that is definitely facts. You could tell a woman the game all day, but they still will think the grass is greener. I myself, like I say, have had multiple. Even right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't even if you. I don't even like to put this out there, but even right now, it's a woman who's cheating on her boyfriend with me. She comes over consistently. You know, cooks for me, does this and that. And it's like, what? She she told me the other day, literally, I could not make this up. She was like, my friend doesn't like you. And I was like, why? She was like, because you don't put no effort. I'm like, Shawty, you have a whole boyfriend. <laughs> what you want me to do? You want me to take you on a date? You're cheating. What effort do you expect me to put in? Let's continue. Sebastian, fuck Sebastian. Then Sebastian in his head, oh, but she fucked Antonio, so fuck this girl. So Sebastian's <laughs> gonna still do whatever he's doing. Then she's gonna get mad at Sebastian. Oh, I'm gonna get back at him. Then she'll go fuck Vic. Dude, I don't care, so. No, 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 but that's what I'm saying. Now she'll go fuck Vic because she's mad at Sebastian, right? Vic obviously is not gonna say no to pussy. He's gonna fuck the girl. And then Vic is not gonna take her seriously either. So then it goes now to you. Then after you. Then it goes to Alan, who's not even here. No, it bounces around so a really circle cool. of people we all yeah. know. Or sometimes it could be like somebody you don't like. They'll go through that group also and then the next group all because they're trying to find what they lost so they think oh by fucking everybody i'm eventually gonna find somebody that wants Honest, double cross you burn yourself. gotta let them learn gotta let them learn uh, look at us. We kind of hold on look this is kind of crazy that women are coming out and saying stuff like this but this caption says i'm sure y'all can read but let me just read it for y'all in my date people who actually like you error first of all she shouldn't have said likes she should have said date people who actually like you 
error but i told you most of these women is airheads so she probably didn't even catch that error so in my date people who actually like you error bro so she is basically calling this man ugly <laughs> she basically calling this man ugly and watch how he reacts he not even confident in himself let's get into it Hey, a lot of these women really have overinflated value of how they actually look. This girl literally is a PM slot. And if you know what a PM slot is, actually not nah, she an evening slot. Like it has to be close to getting dark. Cause if she take that wig off, what is we really working with? Potato head? She don't have an ugly face, but if she take that wig off, come on now. And she trying to call bro ugly. These women have overinflated egos. You're an evening. It has to be getting dark within 30 minutes. If we pop out, slide. What is we talking about? Let's continue, bro. They be out here playing dudes like this, bro. And y'all be going for it. <laughs> nah, bro. Dude. <laughs> he don't even look. <laughs> nah, shot. It might be a. She might be an afternoon slide. Bro just said because of my looks And women was in the comments like When they get around a baddie they start feeling insecure I damn sure don't What is the like you you really just have to be confident as a man. And it's not obviously you have to have the looks, right? To back up the confidence up sometimes. But it's like they're just women. They literally were born with that face. Like just like you was born with your face, they literally was born with that face. Either they want to sleep with you or not. Cause that's what y'all be wanting, right? Y'all be wanting women to sleep with y'all, right? This girl right here, this is like a easy bag. Easy easily baggable. And it's just the way bro walking and talking like bro you can't be you can't let a, how a woman look make you feel insecure because me personally i'm i'm already gonna be feeling like i'm him now sometimes when you're around a girl who's super pretty you're gonna get them jitters and nerves and if you're a man and you say you don't I, you you lying you know what i'm saying because me personally when i see a baddie bro i'm i'm just gonna start laughing like damn this whole baddie fuck god damn <laughs> He he fumbled. He fumbled. I hope she should not into another relationship, thinking that somehow that will make us happy, and it doesn't. And this is the cycle that we live in our whole lives, and we live in this cognitive dissonance that it's our husbands making us unhappy, that it's the marriage making us unhappy, with no awareness that it's actually you. And I had to realize it was me that was unhappy, and there was nothing my husband could do or stop doing. Or anything that was going to change in my marriage that would make me happy because that is impossible. The only person that can make you happy is you. And this is what a lot of women don't understand. They get in these relationships with guys and they think a lot of times, oh, I'm unhappy because of the relationship I'm in. I'm depressed because I have a boyfriend. How are you depressed because you have a boyfriend unless he's physically hitting you or mentally draining you? But a lot of times the women don't understand they could be mentally draining as well. There's no perfect relationship that you're going to jump in, right? You're going to leave one person and then you're going to go to the other person. And it's probably going to be an opposite. All the good qualities that this person had, the other person is not going to have, but they're going to have other qualities that you like. This is not build a bear. And a lot of women, if you're woman watching this, because I see a lot of topics where women leave their husbands and we actually have one, 
you know, further along in the video. And then they expect that they could come back to the the husbands. Obviously, you can't because you divorced. Why would your husband, ex-husband want you back? That does not make any sense. It's almost like women think that they could do what they want. And then it's they 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 want to leave their husbands right thinking the grass is greener. And this is why I think that a woman's friend group is the biggest influence on how she turns out as a person, because most women think in packs. They cannot think for themselves. So it's like I don't blame men who don't want their their girls having, you know, whole friends or do to do because the friend groups, if you look at the. If you look at the difference in women who have friends that actually do things productive versus women who have friends that have that are um, 304s, you'll see a massive difference in relationships, even though whether they're a Christian or a 304, you know, most of the times women do turn into bops a lot of times. But it is a massive difference in the outcome based on the friend group, in my opinion. That's just me. Let's continue. And unfortunately, we aren't taught how to do that in life. But I was very blessed to be taught how to be happy and what happiness actually is. And that it's having a healthy relationship with myself. That it isn't anything that my husband can do or my marriage can do to make us happy. And I think that a lot of women that, you know, leave their husbands and talk about when they when they finally do leave their husbands. And then they think that, you know, everything's about to be great. They don't. I, that's why I tell y'all a lot of women don't have the ability to sight see for the future. You know, they think in the emotional moment and you should never make an emotional decision based on the moment. You get what I'm saying? This is why they always say women can't be great leaders because you can't make decisions in the moment. Just imagine if we had a female president and she made a decision, emotional decision in the moment. This world will be over. See, men can think logical and sometimes, most times, foresee future events happening. Right now, if Iran bombed a boat in America, just for example, and we had a female president who had, you know, let's say she had a cousin or something on that boat or whatever. She probably would say, all right, we're going to Iran, load up. You know what I'm saying? Whereas a male being a logical thinker, he can kind of foresee what's going to happen in the future and how to better assess. But women think based on emotions and they think that the man is always the problem. And this is why I think a lot of women are unhappy in life. But that's just my opinion. Maybe you have another opinion. Jump in the comments. and Let me know. I like to look at the statistics that 50 percent of first marriages fail, 60 percent of second marriages fail and third or 75 percent of, of third marriages fail. And that goes for relationships too. A lot of niggas be stressed over these girls that don't even realize when y'all not talking, when y'all done, she's not stressing over you. She's doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? The only way you don't say you're gonna realize, okay, I need to stop, is realizing like she don't give no fucks. She's doing this, doing that, talking to this nigga, that nigga, all that. You know what I'm saying? Probably got cracked. It's the sad reality of it. You know what I'm saying? It's There's no probably. She definitely got cracked. He being nice about it. I'm telling you, your girl getting cracked. So you sitting here stressing over her, but the whole time she ain't even thinking about you. She left your ass. When you break it down like that and realize, damn, they're all these bitches hoes, I'm telling you, your mindset going to change. You're going to want to get on your shit, get some money and change because she's not thinking about you at all. Don't Here's the thing, right? I think a lot of men, they get done dirty, boom, boom, they get left, whatever, whatever the case may be. And they think, let me get some money. Let me do this. I think the best thing that you could do really if somebody does you like that or if a woman, you know, decides, OK, I want to see what the streets is like. That's cool. You're going to say sometimes people do need to date around, but I don't feel like stressing out about a situation like that is good for your mental health. You get what I'm saying? I feel like most times if a woman chooses the streets and she feel like she want to go out and have fun, man, at the end of the day, you just have to see it as, OK, obviously, this really just wasn't the person that. If you believe in God, that God chose for me, if you do desire marriage and stuff like that, and this wasn't the person I was supposed to have kids with. And then you just have to take her off of the pedestal, like I say, because most men, when you get in a relationship, you put a woman that you're with on a higher pedestal, like she won't do me like that. And boom, 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 which I told you, it's not good to have that mindset. But you really just have to look at it like, OK, I would rather be I'm, I'm good knowing that, OK, I'm at peace. Rather than I'm at peace with the situation rather than stressing about it because he's right, bro. Your girl is definitely getting dug out. 
And she's trying to find as many dudes as she can to replace you. Because a lot of times, yeah, a girl's going to go through a three or four phase after the relationship. But in reality, she left you because she thought she could do better than you. She wants to find a better looking guy. So she's going to have sex with, you know, probably three, four or five dudes. That's cool. That's what it is. But the ultimate goal is to try to find somebody to replace you. And if they don't replace you, then that's when they that's when they start to feel sorry. This is why I always say, man, never take a girl back, because most times the only time she will come back is if she could not replace you. You get what I'm saying? You can't let nobody play with you like that. That's just my opinion. You get what I'm saying? Because even me as a man with options, any relationship I've been in, you get what I'm saying? I always had options that look better than the partner who I was with. No pun intended, because I always have women that look halfway decent. You know what I'm saying? Even not that they ugly, but other women who are more attractive always wanted me. Even me with options would not do that. So if you're a man watching this or a woman watching this, don't let that slide. Don't be ready to cry shut over that. She's not, she does not care. I'm telling you. And that's the harsh reality of it. Facts. If that woman not spending any money on you, she don't like you like that. If you're the only one spending money every time y'all go out, that woman don't like you like that. If every time you all go out to eat, you always pay for the bill, you always leave a tip, then she never offers to pay the bill or to even just leave the tip. She definitely doesn't like you like that. She's definitely a self person. And baby, if you were to go broke, she'd definitely probably leave your ass. I mean, that's self explanatory, but look. I always tell y'all in my videos, if you are with a woman and she is not like you're in the courting process and you're the man, so you're trying to do what's right, right? If you were in the courting process and she decides that every single date, every single interaction, she is not going to spend no money. I made a video about this yesterday. She's using you. She don't like you. I feel like actually I don't feel like I understand now. And this is what I know. Women when they make a financial investment or any type of investment with you, they actually like you. Hence, right? Let's say you're messing with a girl and she drives a distance to come see you. They see that as an investment. They might say little playful things like, oh, if I drive to see you, I'm not going to let you crack. Boom, boom, boom. Bro, this all a game, bro. Anytime a woman makes an investment, she likes you. And whether that be driving to see you, whether that be picking you up some 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 food that you asked for, whether that be paying, you know, half or whether that be paying for the full date, whether that be even her walking two miles to come see you. That's an investment. Even if she got to take an Uber to see you, that's an investment. If she got to take a train to see you, that's an investment. Women invest, make investments for dudes that they actually like. Now, if she don't like you. She's going to be saying things where you have to pay for her to come to you. I'm telling you what I know. That's the end of this video, man. Make sure I like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know my next video is dropping on the channel. We are on the road to 4K, man. The ultimate goal for the end of the year is 20K subscribers. So if you like what you see, you like what you hear, please click that like button, that subscribe button, and share this video to all platforms and help your boy out. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all a second to like the video right now. All right, a second is up. We're going to be gone.